So your Denon 4000 has a disc error on one side. I'm going to show you how to fix it, how to quickly and cheaply change the laser. First thing you'll need is one of these. This you can order on the internet. Um, what you're looking for is a Sanyo. That's the model number there, P101N, and it's by SF-P101N, and it's the 16-pin version you need. Note the static sensitive um, instructions here. So for that we're going to use one of these just to make sure we don't transfer any static to the unit. Now these are supplied with a grounding blob of solder. First thing we need to do is to remove that. It's to, pro it's to protect the head in transport against static and stuff. Uh, so first thing we need to do is desolder that solder blob. All right, I'll show you how to do that first. Now it's... Uh, Obviously you take on this repair, it's at your own risk, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking any responsibility for um, whatever happens to yours, but this is how I'm going to do it on mine. It's important you follow the steps in order as I show you. Um, you can re download this video and play it back, stop it, start it, do it at your own pace. I've done this a few times before so you probably won't be as quick as me doing it, but don't worry. Take your time, get it right. So first thing we need to do is open this up and desolder the grounding blob. Put your CD player to one side because you won't need that right now. We're going to work on this to start with. Tools you'll need, various Phillips screwdrivers, I'll put them out of the way for now. Um, desoldering tool, uh, magnetic pickup just to grab screws, that's handy. We've got soldering iron over here which is warming up and some handy alarms just to um, hold, hold this in place while we desolder it. And this, this is just a convenient thing to, um, it's the base of a CD holder, but it's just convenient to store the screws in, okay? Right, I'm going to unpack the new laser, laser unit and then we'll get to work. So first things first, let's uh, earth the grounding strap. Just put it on the corner of the down there. There's some paint missing around the corner, so it should get an earth from the unit. And I'll put that on, on my wrist like so. So let's unpack this brand new unit. There it is. And the uh, lens cover's fallen off there. I don't think we need it, but. Um, now they assure me it's a genuine unit, it doesn't say Sanyo, but here, if you can see, you probably can't actually. Okay, I'll use a screwdriver to point it out. Right there. Right there. It actually says SFP101N, okay, on, on, on the side of this block. So we unpack the unit and the first thing we have to do to it, now you'll see on here, um, there's a small solder blob just there beneath the screwdriver. That's the solder blob that we have to remove. That's there for um, anti-static grounding purposes and the unit won't work with it in situ so we have to desolder that solder blob. That's what we'll do to start with. What we need, to, what you need to remember is uh, gravity will take solder downwards. If you, if any spills, you want to arrange it so that it doesn't spill onto somewhere delicate, like so. So that. Now I'm going to desolder it and if any solder drops it will just drop onto the surface, not onto another part of the circuit board. So very simple. I have the soldering iron warmed up, I have the solder socket at the ready. And we're going to heat the solder block and remove it.
Okay, that's that done. Very quick, very simple. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. There you go, you can clearly see that where there was a blob, there is now a gap between the two parts. Just below my screwdriver here. There you go. See, there is now a gap. That's what you need. That's now ready to be fitted. So, I'll put that back over there. Move this other stuff out of the way. You can now turn the soldering iron off because that's all you needed it for. 